Today we're going to work with the app Zoo Kazam, and if you haven't done anything with the augmented reality yet, you're going to love this. I'm going to tap my app open up here in my folder. It looks like blue butterfly wings, and if that one happens to go paid, you can always use the um, Zoo Kazam Atlanta Zoo, and that one's always free. And up here, if you notice, it says printed target animals, premium animals, how it works. I'm going to, um, I have my target already printed, but you'll need to go print that. I'm going to tap animals. It's kind of like a QR code that you scan and then the animals will come up. And if I scroll through here, I can see all my different animals. I'm going to tap safari. And I'm going to tap the, let's start out with the lion. The lion's going to come up here. It's kind of like my camera will show and then I can, um, it's, it scans on my grass here and there's a little lion. And I can tap on him and hear him roar. Try that again. I can change it to rainy, I can rain on my lion, I can change it to snowy, I can get some snow on my lion, it's kind of cool. And I can take a photo if I want. If I tap on the camera, I can take a photo. I can also tap on my screen and slide it across, or actually tap on video here. And then I can take a little movie down here of my um, line if I want, but I'm going to go back to photo. We're just in photos today. And down here at the bottom is info. I'm going to tap info and then some information comes up about lions. I can scroll up and down on that and look at the information. And then I just tap the X to make that go away. That's where I can get some of my fact information. And if I want to go back to some other animals, I just tap the back key. And I'm going to tap the giraffe. The giraffe is what I'm going to do my project on. loading my giraffe and then as my code comes up you can see there's my nice giraffe sitting here on my couch and I can tap him and he makes a noise too. Kind of sounds like a little cow. I'm going to tap a photo and take a picture of him. I'm going to take a couple different pictures of him. He's really cute. And I can make it rain on him. I can take a picture when it's raining. I'm just tap him photo down there. I'm, I'm gonna, I can tap the snow. I can make it snow on him. I can also tap the information down here again on my giraffe and it tells me some different things about him. They're the world's tallest animals. Their long legs can run as fast as 35 miles per hour. I love the fun fact that their tongue is very long, 21 inches long it can be. So I'm gonna tap up here on the X and I have some photos so I'm gonna actually go out of my app down here at the bottom now your students, students you probably want to play around with some different animals for a while and do that. So down here I am, I'm going to tap the home key again. Now we're going to put our project into EduCreation, so I'm going to tap EduCreations down here. I'm going to go back out of the home key so I can show you that again. I always keep certain apps on the dock that we use a lot, so EduCreations is down there. It's a great whiteboard app that's free. And up here at the top you can tap New Lesson, and then a screen will come up like this. When this screen comes up, um, I'm just going to show you a couple things. Here's my colors, and I can kind of just write on my screen. This is the arrow that erases exactly what I just did. If I pick a different color, I can write on my screen again. This time I can tap the eraser, and I can erase a little bit. It just takes a little bit longer, so I'm going to just tap the arrow and get rid of that all. Up here at the top, I can tap that again, and there's some new colors that come up, and I can even change that color scheme up there at the top if I want different colors. And the other thing that you can do is if you goof up or you accidentally erase something you didn't mean to, so here I erased it, oh, I want that back, you just put the back arrow back up. So we're going to work with photos today. We're going to go in this little thing that looks like a picture. You're going to go to photos, you're going to go to your camera roll where you took your giraffe pictures, and I'm going to get a giraffe picture here that I want to use. And if you notice, I can do some things here with it. I can delete it, I can rotate it, duplicate it, fit my height, if I fit the height, or fit my width, I want to fit the height. So I can just touch on that and move that around on my screen. And I'm going to get two pictures, so I'm going to get another picture I took here of my giraffe. And I'm going to get this one I took a while ago that's kind of fun with my daughter and my dog sitting on the couch when my giraffe was on the little target thing. And I'm going to take that and make this smaller. 
and I love it that it just looks like they have a little baby giraffe sitting there beside them. So now I'm ready to type. I'm going to tap the one that says text and it says tap anywhere to type. So I'm just going to tap on my screen and my keyboard comes up. I'm going to tap my facts that I wrote down on my sheet and it's I need to start with a capital and make sure this has a capital. If you have it in black, it'll be ready for a capital letter. And giraffes can run <clears throat> 35 miles per hour is my first fact and my second fact is going to be their tongues can be 21 inches long which is pretty cool that's longer than my ruler I'm going to say because I think that's pretty exciting that their tongues can be longer than my ruler. That's just hard to imagine. That's longer than my ruler. So here we are. I have my two facts and I'm going to just tap done here. And then I can move those around on my screen too if I just touch that and, and drag those around. And I can also delete, duplicate, and edit, and I can even lock that. If I tap the lock key, that's nice because then I can touch on it and it doesn't get moved around. So I'm going to lock that there, and up here at the top I'm going to pick a color, and I'm going to actually sign my name to my project. So my project is done. I have my two pictures, my fact, and now I'm going to touch my home key and then this button that you have up here to turn your iPad off and on. At the exact same time, you'll hear a flash and, or you'll see a flash and hear a little click that sounds like a camera and then I'm going to tap done up here or I'm going to tap my home key again actually go out of my app I'm going to tap my photos when I'm in my photos you can see my camera roll here this is what I just just did right now and that was my screenshot but I don't really like that it has all this stuff up the top and the bottom so I'm going to come up here to where it says edit in the corner a little blue edit I'm going to tap that then I'm going to tap crop and as I tap crop there's these squares on the corners and then I can just move those in and get rid of the stuff that's from the edge creations and make sure I get everything that I did on my project tap crop again and then I'm going to tap save and now this is what my project looks like I can email this to my teacher I could um, save it in a Dropbox or save it on my iPad wherever I need to save the project. If I tap the home key again and I go back into photos you can see that this is my project all done. So camera roll gets me back to my camera roll and you can see other projects there but this is my completed project. So I hope you've enjoyed a little bit about augmented reality and making a little project and that's all for our lesson for today. I'm going to tap the home key again and we'll see you next time.